What's up guys, Mark from Spots Music Center, and I just got done recording this awesome video, and I realized I deleted the introduction. So... I'm really stoked to share with you that we got a couple boxes in this Monday. It was either from UPS or FedEx, I don't remember because it was Monday and it's Thursday today, but... Roland sent us this new kit. We ordered it at the trade show, and I am so stoked to get it put together. Here we go. Seriously though, when you stack the boxes up like this, it is taller than I am. Being five foot eight, that's not very tall, but absolutely no reason to stack them like this other than to make them as tall as I am. So, brand new drum set, VAD306 from Roland. It's their half shell electronic kit. Uh, really cool. This is the first one I'll be able to put my hands on in person since the trade show last year and uh, pretty stoked on that. So we're going to unbox it, put it together, and then like all drummers do, we're going to hit some stuff. As a father of a five-year-old and a one-year-old, it is very nice to see Roland asking you to please open this side instead of just demanding it. So kudos to Roland. This one's clearly labeled box two and we unboxed it first so I'll show you what was in box two. So box two contains kind of the meat of the package, the ever so important uh, Roland setting up of guide. We aren't going to read that. So you've got a snare drum, you've got a floor tom, you've got two rack toms, three cymbal stands and the uh, uh, bracket attachment. Not 100% sure how that's utilized. I might actually have to pick that manual up and look at it. But now we're on, on to box number one uh, to open this guy. Again, the politeness is there. Please open this side. If you're confused, please don't open this side. All right, well this is it, the VAD 306 completely unboxed. We've got in that first box, which we open second, because we don't pay any attention to directions, the T17 brain and cabling, as well as power cable. Uh, kick drum is just awesome. It's actually a, a kick drum, like you would expect, with the trigger on the back. Looks awesome. Stoked to hook a kick pedal up to that. Then you've got your cymbals as well. Their drum spurs and the hi-hat controller uh, are all there too. Um, some other things that you're going to need in addition to the VAD 306, uh, if this is your only kit and you don't have a drum set at home, are a drum throne, a kick pedal, a hi-hat stand, as well as some drumsticks and headphones or an amp. So none of that stuff is included in the package that comes from Roland, the VAD 306. So um, I'm just gonna grab all that stuff from the floor when I set this up. If you have another drum set, any kick pedal is going to work. Uh, you can hook a double kick pedal up to this as well, and it will work great. So the manual also is in there for the brain. That's the manual that you're going to want to dive into if you really want to learn how it functions, uh, how to change settings, how to uh, actually use the thing once you get it turned on and hooked up. But that's the step we're on now that we've got it completely unboxed. The thing looks great. I'm, I'm really stoked to have it set up and uh, to sit behind it and feel like you're at a pseudo acoustic kit, um, but you're actually playing an electronic kit. My wife might actually uh, want me to bring one of these home at some point. So I'm gonna try to work that angle, but let's get her all set up and, uh, and make some noise. 
All right, this is what I have set up so far. I did forget to mention, you also need a snare stand. So it does not come with a snare stand, so I'm gonna have to grab that as well. But let me show you what the kit looks like. So far, this is all um, what came in the box. All right, now I will say I've got this hooked up. I just got to run cabling. It took me a little bit longer than I thought it was going to just to get it kind of configured. I typically played, I played drums in a blues band for like six years. And so I played a four piece kit. So this uh, third rack Tom, um, kind of not used to it, having it within the mix. My ride cymbal would normally sit here, uh, two crashes. Um, but that's the beauty of this kit is you can configure it what is comfortable to you as an acoustic drum player versus electronic kits on the rack. I don't feel like you have as much range of motion. So definitely one of the, one of the cool parts of these kits. And um, all I have to do now is get the thing plugged in. Stoked. It's all set up. The VAD 306, TD17, there are a lot of videos out there with all the sounds, all the features of that brain in and of itself. Um, that brain and, and the uh, regular TD17 kits have been around for a while now. Awesome sounding kits. I just have it hooked into a JBL 12 inch powered speaker just to demo it, um, to play around a little bit. And man, this is a fun, fun kit. It, it feels like I'm sitting in an acoustic set. Um, it really does. It's, it's a neat thing. So my recommendation would be to come down, check it out in person. We are a music store, not a museum. So this guy will be set up. It's available for sale. Um, but come in, try it out, throw some headphones on. Uh, normally, if we were doing a full review of the kit, I'd plug it into Pro Tools, let you hear the actual recorded sound out of the brain to give you a good idea of what it sounds like. Just YouTube TD17, and there are a ton of videos out there already with that type of content. So check it out, stop in the store, and uh, play some music. If you enjoyed this video, uh, if uh, you like the content that we're going to be putting out, we're back in the saddle since the whole COVID-19 thing happened. We're back in doing content, did some remodeling in our store, painted the walls. This is a new YouTube set that we have thrown together specifically for this. If you want to see continued videos, hit the subscribe button and we'll go from there.